Hello everyone! Winsor and Newton asked some artists to test the Winsor and Newton brush and pro markers. And I was also asked. So I decided to make a short review and speed paint with them. As you can see, they sent me the suitable marker paper, pro markers with skin tones, and a brush marker set with a lot of different colors. I was not paid to do it, but I like to share my honest personal opinion of these markers with you. And I also want to get them. Huh. I've got also the idea to test the Copic Chow on this paper. In this way, we can see if it's also suitable with Copic. I never used these markers before and I'm really excited to test them now. And before I forget, Winsor and Newton provide a set as a giveaway for you. So I never did a giveaway before on YouTube and it's the first time. So let's make it in this way. If you want to win a set, just add a heart in your comment here. If you don't want to win a set, then just don't add a heart. I pick a winner and write you a private message on YouTube so you can give me your address for sending you the set. Let's see what is different about these two markers. The Pro marker is similar to the Copic marker standard nib. On the other end is a chisel nib. The brush marker is similar to Copic Sketch or Chow. Like the name says, it's a brush pen and on the other end there is also a chisel nib. The only marker paper I ever used was from Copic and I hated it. So I'm curious how this marker paper from Vincent Newton will be. It's a soft and thin paper, which is bleed proof. Solvent based markers will tend to bleed if used with thin low grade papers. Winsor and Newton's own bleed proof marker paper is specially formulated to prevent marker bleed and provide outstanding color definition. Brush markers will also work well on smooth coated cardstocks. Let's start the test. At first Winsor and Newton. It feels great to paint the color on the paper. It's smooth and the colors are intensive. Also the nib of the Pro Marker feels smooth and draws accurate. As you can see, the paper is really bleed proof. Now Copic Chow. I choose to use similar colors for the test. For me, Copic Chow feels not really different on the paper. The color gradient is almost the same. Now testing Winsor and Newton with a Copic drawing pen, which is Copic proof. I don't know if you can see it, but the pen bleeds on the paper. The ink smears in combination with the Winsor and Newton markers. Let's see if it's the same with Copic. As you can see, it's the same with the other both markers. Maybe the Winsor and Newton ink is not suitable with Copic or the combination of both did not harmonize on the paper. Because also Copic with Copic itself smears on the paper. So let's try another test. Winsor and Newton with Copic Multiliner. Since my black multiliner is empty, I decided to use the sepia tone.
As you can see, the multiliner also spread his color a little bit. But I think it's not that bad compared to the Copic drawing pen. I wish I could continue this test with pigment liners from Vincent Newton to make a better comparison. But they don't send it me one and I also didn't ask for it. So it's my bad, I'm sorry. So I will stop talking now and I hope you will enjoy this speed paint with the Rinzer and Newton markers.
my personal result. I never thought I would ever like a marker paper, non-essential, from which brand it is. It feels still a little bit unfamiliar to draw on this paper because it's so thin. I also miss that it's not possible to add a lot of layers like I like to do on my sketchpad paper from Ebeling. And also blending is different from blending with Copic. But I like this paper and the colors anyway. They are quite good and I think they are a good alternative. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye!